Question number 15, the role played by Anthony Nkwalek. He is the heir to the Biangong throne and the first graduate of the tribe. He is rejected on the day of the catching ceremony because of the interference of the deer for selfish reasons. The rejection leaves him shattered and confused. The deer wants a chief whom he can easily manipulate. He arrives from the white man's country two days earlier than the tribe had planned to give him a befitting reception at the airport. The whole tribe had contributed money to grace the occasion, and they are highly disappointed. During the reception at Anusa's house, it is said that he had not spoken and addressed his kinsmen like a true Biongong child. They had considered his utterances as insults to the tribe. In addition, he refuses to marry Kenwa's daughter. This is the man who had paid his tuition abroad, which is considered as a mark of ingratitude. He gets married to Pagot Sabi's daughter and later on divorces her to marry a Munchi girl. This behavior of his, to get married to a woman out of the tribe, is disgraceful and shameful for a prince and the heir to the throne. The people summarize his behavior as not being dignified of a prince and a leader of the people. So they reject him with the influence of the duo during the catching ceremony, leaving him humiliated and confused. Anthony drinks heavily and gets drunk. He drives out of small Munje and is involved in a fatal accident in which his wife dies with a pregnancy. He himself is in a critical condition and he is admitted at Kopenlo General Hospital. He writes a letter to his brother wanting to find out if he had known or if he had been part of the plan to dislodge him from his throne. But his brother never receives the letter. Upon being discharged from hospital, his last days at Anus's house are miserable because he is neglected. He bears a grudge against Chindia, whom he believes now has a hand in dispossessing, in dispossessing him of the throne, which rightfully belongs to him, despite all the good that he has done to him in the past.